हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल फ्रेंड्स आज की इस वीडियो में मैं आपको डिक्टेशन दूंगा कैलाश चंद्रा वॉल्यूम वन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर एट की स्पीड होगी इस डिक्टेशन की सेवेंटी वर्ड्स पर मिनट द डिक्टेशन विल बिगिन इन टेन सेकेंड्स सो बी रेडी फॉर इट फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट इन कंक्लूजन I would like to say a word in regard to employment with which I have been dealing so far according to the figures supplied the number of displaced persons from Bangladesh employed through employment exchange is only Thirty-seven thousand. This is very meager compared with their total number, which comes to thirty-two lakhs, according to the official figures. This is with regard to Bangladesh refugees. The number of displaced persons from Pakistan employed through employment exchanges is not very encouraging but still it is 75000 i would urge upon the honorable minister to take this into consideration and see that something is done to find employment for these people of course there is some expenditure incurred on general education and vocational training but when we look at the number of persons who have been given vocational training we find that the number already trained and under training is only 17000 this figure also seems to be very small considering the magnitude of the problem before us some programs of general improvement have been undertaken by the government of west bengal by way of setting up new industries etc these programs should be looked into and put into operation with a view to giving more employment to these displaced persons within the limited time at my disposal i shall limit my remarks to refugees from bangladesh the first thing which strikes one as one looks at the various brochures and publications that have been given to us is the amount of contradiction one has to battle against the first contradiction is in regard to the number of persons government think they have rehabilitated in west bengal granting that it is difficult to make a final assessment of the number of refugees who have come from bangladesh it is still true to say that at least there should be some sort of parity between what the 
यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री सेज एंड वाट द वेस्ट बंगाल रिहेबिलिटेशन मिनिस्ट्री सेज ओनली अ फ्यू डेज अगो द वेस्ट बंगाल मिनिस्टर ऑफ रिहेबिलिटेशन सेड दैट देयर आर ट्वेंटी टू लैक्स ऑफ रेफ्यूजीज हु हैव टू बी रिहेबिलिटेटेड बट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट्स फिगर्स आर थर्टी वन लैक्स अनलेस द गवर्नमेंट नो द नंबर ऑफ पीपल दे हैव टू बजट फॉर इट इज रादर बेविल्डरिंग टू नो हाउ दे मीन टू प्लान इन ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट देयर रिहेबिलिटेशन एज ए मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट मैनी अदर सोर्सेज बिलीव दैट द फिगर इज फार हाइयर बट in any case there should be some parity and some idea as to the extent of the rehabilitation problem which still remains before the people of west bengal the other contradiction is this on the one hand Shrimati Renuka Ray says that in the near future they will be making a successful completion of the work of economic rehabilitation of refugees in that state but only last year Shri AP Jain said that as yet the problem of the displaced persons from bangladesh was a matter which was giving some concern i really do not understand why in spite of shri ap jain recognizing that the problem is still quite serious shrimati renuka ray should have made such a statement yet when we heard the honorable finance minister we find that there has been a big shortfall in rehabilitation budget i think that if the fact finding committee's report had been published the assessment that we have rehabilitated about 50% of the people of bangladesh who came over as displaced persons would have become quite clear in regard to its incorrectness as a matter of fact when we went round the camps and colonies in west bengal we found that as yet not more than 15% of the people have been rehabilitated in the sense that they are able to eke out their subsistence on the poorest levels it is not more than 15% and i think the figures of the fact finding committee are still lower i think this is something that we have to take 
very seriously and put our minds to and apply all the resources that we have to find out how we will be able to tackle this problem of rehabilitation now coming to the question of relief i feel that until we are able to give really proper rehabilitation we cannot withdraw relief it is no use arguing whether relief leads to lethargy and moral slackness unless our rehabilitation policies are fruitful have we any right to starve the people to death as a matter of fact shri ap jain may know that in west bengal the incidence of tuberculosis amongst the refugee population is very high only a small percentage of them is catered for by the medical relief given by the directorate of rehabilitation if i am to tell you the tragic fate of the refugees in west bengal i would refer you to a report which appeared in february 19 54. So friends, यहाँ पे हमारी डिक्टेशन खत्म हो जाती है ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर एट वॉल्यूम वन स्पीड थी इसकी सेवेंटी वर्ड्स पर मिनट आई होप कि आप लोगों ने अच्छे से डिक्टेशन लिखा होगा और अगर आपके वर्ड्स छूट रहे हैं तो आप लोग दोबारा से डिक्टेशन लिखिए दोबारा से सुनिए दोबारा से लिखिए और इसको अभी कभी ट्रांसक्राइब कीजिए आप अपनी एरर पाँच परसेंट से नीचे करने की कोशिश कीजिए उसके बाद ही आप लोग अगले एक्सरसाइज पे मूव करें दो या तीन या चार बार भी अगर आपको प्रैक्टिस करनी पड़े तो आप लोग ज़रूर प्रैक्टिस करें थैंक यू